Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in this episode of Compute, I will be looking into Liquid Sky's uh, ad platform and how they plan to allow you to watch ads uh, and actually earn Sky credits to play games uh, essentially for free for a, a very short amount of your time uh, watching these ads and actually getting a pretty good payback. I've been able to get this work a couple times and you for about 30 to 45 seconds, you get you know up to uh, 40 minutes of gaming, which is actually a pretty decent return on the value in my opinion, uh, especially if you're just, you know, chilling and not really don't have much going on. I, I see it being a, a pretty strong uh, selling point for Liquid Sky. So let's go ahead and play the intro and then we'll run, uh, go into some uh, overview of the ad platform. All right, so essentially the way that the ad platform works is you watch a interactive ad with very levels of interactivity, uh, and then you essentially earn a, uh, a random amount of sky credits. Uh, I've seen these range from 20 to 40 personally, but I've heard some people report less than that. Um, I know you can earn a maximum of 180, and I do believe the maximum in a single ad is 40. Uh, so I, that means uh, theoretically you could watch uh, up to five ads that'd be four 40s and 120, I guess is how that would work out uh, as a maximum. I don't know exactly how that would work out in the in the, in the end uh, because 180 is in a pure multiple of 40, which I believe is the maximum. Uh, so unless the maximum is, is higher than that, and then that 180 is based upon like a 60 uh, credit ad that you could potentially get, and then that'd be three ads. I don't know exact number of ads. I do know that one day I was able to get three ads. I've probably gotten six to work total, uh, five or six, but I'm pretty sure it's six. And that, that day I got lucky, I got two 40s and a 20. I don't know, it, and uh, and then I got the same ad actually a couple days later, uh, and it was a one of the 40s would become a 20, so there is some randomization. A, a certain ad uh, won't always be the same amount of credits, it doesn't seem like. Um, so I definitely see this as being a pretty viable option, especially in the future when the Sky Lounge is, is available, because they do have plan on having like Twitch streams embedded in there, uh, so you could watch in Twitch streams. They have the, like this chat program, so you could chat with you know fellow fans of Liquid Sky, fellow gaming fans just in general, uh, and, and have something to do. And you can switch over, watch an ad real quick, and then hang back, uh, go back out to like the, the social side. And I do see the Sky Lounge as being a pretty cool thing possibly in the future. And the, if, combining that with the ad platform being a something that could be a pretty strong selling point for Liquid Sky. Uh, so exactly how the ads work themselves. If you're lucky, you can click on this button and it'll pop up an ad. Uh, I actually got lucky. I was uh, thinking I was probably going to have to, in this video, my shirt would randomly change all of a sudden. Um, but this is an ad for uh, Boss Baby, as you can see, and probably here. Let's turn that down a little bit. Let's mute that pretty much. Uh, so this is just an uh, ad for a, a video. So it's uh, some, some pretty good ads, actually, and not nothing like too horrible. Um, and then you can go here and click on uh, like Geek Tickets. It's going to open stuff in my browser um, but so that just opened a to get tickets opened uh, fandango.com uh, for tickets uh, you can watch the trailer which should yeah I was gonna say some of them will actually load the web pages straight up in here uh, I guess stuff like that they want to load into the external but any type of media I've had load straight in here you can rate the ad uh, say you liked it uh, then when you click you know you're done uh, you'll get a very much credit credit so you know these could be th some things that take like 30 seconds at a max or at a minimum to like if you actually find something you're actually very interested in and end up watching you know the full trailer you know that's a, a full movie trailer so it could be like a five minute thing uh, but let's go ahead and click I'm done or right, let's go ahead and click the X button uh, and you can actually view a gallery too so this is another feature you all see you see this you'll see this a lot uh, not always in this exact uh, setup like some, uh, one of the carnival ones I had for like carnival cruises was a, a vertical one like through like a schedule of what you might experience in a single day, uh, just for example of what these are. So uh, actually pretty well done for an ads, um, uh, better than YouTube ads in my opinion. Uh, and I do end up watching YouTube ads uh, some because I like supporting other creators out there. And I hope that you do too, because um, uh, it does help out. Uh, but essentially when you click your done, you'll get how many scry credits. Uh, so you can see I did a lot of interacting there and I only got 20. So it doesn't seem at that your interactivity, how deep you interact with the ad has any input into how many sky credits you get but you can see i just earned 20 sky credits i don't know if you paged into there uh, but that should have been uh 17 a second ago and now it's 37 
I actually didn't pay attention either. Um, I could go back and watch the footage though because I'm recording. Uh, but uh, that should be upgraded. If not, I'll, I'll probably see 20 be added further soon. I haven't had. I did pay attention when I did it the first day, and I did notice that they got added to my credits. So it's not like they didn't get added. Uh, but it's it's a pretty cool feature. I definitely see it being useful. Um, you possibly like especially when they had the Sky Lounge added in the future. You could like hang out there, watch some ads, and then like stockpile credits. And then you know like I earned twenty there. Say I earned you know sixty a day. Just well, three of those. Uh, that's an hour on the gaming platform or half an hour on the pro. If you did plan on playing the pro, which is my personal recommendation for like a very good, a very very strong gaming experience, uh, much better than my personal experience with like Metro, Metro Last Light. Uh, on my local computer, which is running at 380, so nothing to bat an eye. I mean, it's, it's good performance uh, with that. And to say you earn 60 credits a day, you do that throughout the week. That's five days. You know, you'll have enough for five hours on the gamer or two or a half hours on the pro plan, which would be a solid, you know, gaming a gaming experience if you just want to play a couple hours on the weekend. Especially if you're more of a casual user, uh, you could while you're doing other stuff, you know, watching Netflix, you could. Uh, Come on here, hang out in Skyrim, watch them watching Netflix. I have like three monitors uh, going on. Well, actually more than that if you count the rest of them. But three primary ones that I'm actually looking at most of the times. Uh, but I could, you know, run Netflix and then in between Netflix videos while the next one's loading, I could go ahead and watch an ad or something like that. So it's definitely pretty beneficial. And so far, they've actually been pretty high quality ads. It's nothing too horrible. And I haven't had the thing where, like, with YouTube, I get a lot of repeat ads over and over again and starts driving me crazy eventually. I haven't got that much, even though it doesn't seem like I have too big of a pool. But at the same time, most of the times I click it, I get a message like this. Holy crap, it actually worked twice in a row. Uh, nope. <laughs> yep. Uh, so this is a server one. This is actually one I haven't seen much. Uh, so it looked like it was just trying to find an ad that might have been relevant to me. Uh, so. Uh, it, um, it asked if I was sick and I said no and if I said dog owners yes so I guess I filled the dog uh, uh, position of that ad so I went ahead and played it because there were some dogs in there so here you can see another interactivity I didn't expect that to work twice in a row but uh, uh, yeah <laughs> so that's kind of just how it works um, you know just a general idea of how the ads work a pretty cool platform I definitely see it being useful uh, and, and a very good, strong selling point for Liquid Sky in the near future. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let's see how many I get from there. So yeah, another 20. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. If you did like this video, uh, consider possibly sharing it with your social media networks, with your friends. I would greatly appreciate that and be uh, very much uh and thanks for doing that. Uh, it does mean a lot uh, to see you share stuff. Uh, one user actually shared stuff on Reddit. I stumbled upon it. It's like, oh, that's so cool uh, to see something that you make uh, shared and not actually not doing the sharing yourself, having some other some person that's watching actually share uh, your something that you've created on the internet. It's like, wow, you know, thanks. And I made sure I replied and said thank you. It was very cool to just like stumble upon that just like naturally uh, by going to the the liquid sky uh, on the Reddit sub subreddit. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I digress. Um, the uh, if you did like it, make sure you, you consider subscribing. If you are a new watcher uh, or new viewer, uh, that means a lot too. Uh, and if you do uh, like the content I'm producing with Doctor Vulcan Tech, consider hitting the little bell icon. I don't know why I always do a little check mark. I don't know why. If you watch most of my videos, you know I do that lately when I talk about the bell icon. I don't know why. Uh, just uh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I, I once again I digress. <laughs> Hit that little bell icon, and uh, you'll be instantly notified when I release new videos with Doctor Broken Tech. Uh, and also, if you do like what I'm doing with Doctor Broken Tech, consider going to Patreon.com/slash Doctor Broken Tech. There'll be a link to that in the description below and supporting me on Patreon. Once again, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, Zach out.